imagine that where we have light sources, street lamps, uh, traffic lights, shopping windows, light is everywhere and that's imagining a scenario that all these light bulbs are sort of high-speed wireless uh, transmitters that connect either humans with humans or systems with systems. This whole area of Li-Fi, of using visible light for communications, is based on the very recent emergence of light-emitting diode technology as the source of lighting. Tiny LEDs are being developed that could simultaneously do many tasks, such as deliver internet connections, display information and provide lighting. It's the next stage in research to use visible light to transmit information. Tim Dawson from the University of Strathclyde is leading the project. He explained more about the novel aspects of this research and how Li-Fi will complement our existing communication systems. One of the benefits that Li-Fi gives is it's bringing in a new region of the spectrum, so it's adding spectrum to the available bandwidth for communications. Wi-Fi is clearly a very, very successful technology, but there's been a, a raised concerns about possible health issues due to exposure of the brain so close to a, to a microwave transmitter system. I should emphasize there's been no evidence of any negative effects from this, but it remains a concern. If you're communicating with light, with visible light, then there is no concern about that. So th this, is, this is one of the aspects. There's also uh, security aspects. It is possible to tap into microwave and radio broadcasts in a way that you cannot with visible light. 